it really hasn't been uncovered. Um, food has been been being stolen for quite some time. Fifty thousand dollars worth of milk stolen from a truck in Mississauga, and days earlier, a hundred thousand dollars worth of fruit stolen in Hamilton. I'm Faiza Amin in Mississauga. These thefts are more common than you may think, and officials say these black market items can easily end up at your food market. Sometimes the people buying it have no idea. It's, it's, it's not like, like a car or your bicycle that has a serial number on it. It's described as a low-risk, high-reward crime that the Insurance Bureau of Canada says is a major problem in the country. And we've seen these cargo thefts hit the GTA twice already this week alone. Peel police say $50,000 worth of milk was stolen from the back of a large transport truck in Mississauga yesterday, a little before 6 a.m. On Sunday, Hamilton police asking for the public's help in locating $100,000 worth of blueberries and fruit, saying the suspect gained access to a commercial truck that was eventually driven into Toronto. Do you know what happens to the products after they're taken? Um, they're generally going to be sold a number of ways. Uh, food's a difficult one. Usually that's probably going to be word of mouth. A little underground network. Somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who's, you know, got some, got some food items. They may get sold to the, uh, through the black market to variety stores, convenience stores, that kind of thing. But even scarier, no one has ever determined where exactly the food goes. It may land in the, in the shelf of a, of a wholesaler two days before its expiry date. It may already be starting to turn. In 2014, the Bureau launched a national cargo theft reporting program and saw a steady climb in these types of crimes. In 2015, there were 836 cargo thefts in Canada. That number more than doubled the following year with 1,679 reports. But there could be more cases. As the IBC says, some businesses only notify police and not the Bureau because they're not familiar with their cargo theft reporting system. The Bureau doesn't know how trucks are getting targeted, but officials say the province's main trucking corps, the 401, is a hotbed for this type of criminal activity. That's where we're going to find you know, all, the majority of our thefts. I'm not saying that's the only place. We are uh, seeing them in the rural areas along the Trans-Canada and whatnot as well. Another reason companies don't report cargo thefts is fear of affecting their insurance, but the Insurance Bureau of Canada tells us that reporting these crimes will not increase your payments. In Mississauga, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.